Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a neat little trick using the clone tool and the blend tool. I've just drawn a shape, and I'm going to clone it. I'm going to go to Edit and Clone, and then I'm going to move it over. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to go up to Effects and get the blend tool, and I'm going to blend them like 40 times. I'm going to go to get a new path, and I'm going to put it on this path. I'm going to go to rotate and blend along full path. And you can see they're pretty cool already. At both, end, at both ends of a blend, there is a, at least two objects that are free. And they are normally on the end. So this is a control curve, and this is a control curve. This is your blend. But you can change this. So we're going to rotate it ever so slightly. And it changes the whole blend. That's pretty cool. If you were doing something like this, and you wanted to make something like that, Matter of fact, we can go back and still add more objects, get them a little bit closer. Let's go 55, and you can still change the shape of them because this is still your control curve, and we can, I don't know what I did there, but double click. trying to get the rotation and move the rotation. And since these are both control curves, you could actually go the opposite direction and get a wholly, totally different effect. I don't know that you'd ever want to do that, but if you're making a reef, and then you could always go, go to a range and break blend apart, get rid of your line. And if you look down here, you can see I've, I've grabbed the red hairline. And then weld these together and get a totally different well the ones that are touching welded but anyway there's a lot you could do with that with rotating these control curves and let's go all the same direction make it look a little cooler bend that one down just a little bit more now let's zoom in Let's grab the whole thing, arrange, break, break, put it in apart, R, Control, K. And I grabbed it. I see I've got the hairline, so I'm going to delete it. Now we could probably weld that. And I don't know what you'd ever do with that, but that's a pretty cool look. And unless you wanted this, as far as leaves, and I think if we did that, then we'd probably put them too close together. Anyway, so think about that next time you're using the blend tool to make a weird shape. Use the clone tool first. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.